And the next thing I'm about to tell you is the key to using this tip to improve your darts level. It's... Hi there, thanks for tuning in to a brand new video here on the Dart Counter YouTube channel. So, darts is known as a mental sport. Some people even say that darts is 90% mental and only 10% physical. Well, I'm pretty sure that at the beginning when you start playing darts, it's mostly physical because you have to start learning all the techniques and everything. And then when you play darts more often and for a longer period of time, it becomes more and more mental. In today's video, I will go over four mental tips and tricks to help you support your mental state during a darts game or practice. If this is your first time here and you want to become better in darts, learn more about darts in general and get valuable tips and tricks, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. The first tip I've got for you today is all about your focus and concentration. Focus and concentration are two very important parts in darts. It should come naturally when you practice. Being focused and concentrated is the optimal state you want to be when you're throwing darts. Now, how do you accomplish this? Having a clear goal in mind really helps a lot for your focus. Think about things like, I only want to hit the 20s or I want to finish this like in less than 30 darts. An important thing for your concentration is keeping a rhythm between your throws. Keeping the same rhythm will increase your level of concentration. The second mental tip is having a good confidence. You will need to have to believe in yourself that you are capable to scale up your darts level and hit the numbers you need to hit. It may seem like a no-brainer, but confidence is an essential skill that sets the foundation for further mental training in darts. If you've just started playing darts, don't be at all discouraged. If you're not immediately playing like others around you, everybody needs practice. If you believe you can do the impossible, you will be the one who does the impossible more often than others. Tell yourself things like, keep practicing, I'll get better. And also, leave a little thumbs up in this video if you like it so far. The third mental tip I've got for you is positive visualization. There are countless pieces of research that show the effectiveness of visualization on success. An important reason that makes visualization so effective is that our brain is unable to tell the difference between what we visualize and what we do in real life. If you imagine something vividly, your brain will react to it as if it was real. And the next thing I'm about to tell you is the key to using this tip to improve your darts level. It's creating vivid and detailed images. So imagine you will hit that treble 20. Imagine you will hit that double 16. Important disclaimer, visualize a level about where you currently are. Don't expect to just visualize hitting the bullseye three times in a row when you haven't even hit it once. Keep that in mind. The fourth mental tip is stay away from anxiety. The exact definition of anxiety is a feeling of worry, nervousness or unease about something. So translated to darts, the fear that you won't hit the numbers you want to hit or the fear that you lose darts match in general. Important thing is that you must identify what is causing your anger or anxiety and use your inner voice to get control over it. Being able to control your emotions during your turn is an essential skill that all darts players must learn. I'm pretty sure you have noticed this when you're watching darts on television. During their turn, while they're throwing, they're showing very little emotion. They do this because they want to keep their composure, their focus and their rhythm. Try it, it's great. Are you new to this channel and you want to learn more about darts? Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Please leave a little thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and I'm gonna see you next time. Cheers!